<laughs> Sleep, you're now in your sunken place. What's good with you, fam? This is my new little gadget. Uh, they say this is, uh, well, it is, uh, I have been kind of addicted to it. But, uh, today's video, uh, the reason I'm doing this video is on, uh, men, or these boys, or whatever, uh, wearing the rumpers. Uh, I said I wasn't gonna speak on this or even, you know, do no hashtags, uh, cause it's silly. It's just about as silly as all the, the fast that's been going on the last past year, two years. Shit is mad, gay, yo. Uh, anybody in my family that, uh, caught wearing a rumper, I'm disowning you and never speaking to you again. Like, that shit is real gay. I um, don't watch people even have to say that. Uh, I made a comment on one of the posts. Uh, the rumpers uh, look more gay than skirts when actuality is, is all gay. With the rumpers, like, y'all, I don't know who started that silly shit, but that shit mad gay. Uh, excuse me, y'all, uh, looking around, I'm at work, so technically I'm not, you know. But hey, we're on a long extended break. But, uh, yeah, uh, they just on, though. A rumble ain't nothing but a, uh, a strut set onesie. But the onesies was used to go to sleep, man. Not niggas in win, you know. You see the nigga pull up in, in a onesie Superman. You can write down, this, this nigga is kind of Norman Bates. But yeah, uh, fam, uh, I don't know what the fuck kind of gender that shit is, but that shit. Damn, son. Like, who's the first cat that, that got caught dressing in, in, a, in, a, in a romper? Well, yeah, uh, another thing, uh, the young Pharaoh, uh, Sarnetta did his live stream, Salute Sarnetta. And, uh, when Pharaoh first came out on the scene, uh, I watched a few of his lectures, uh, it just felt like a, uh, I can relate to some stuff he was saying. Uh, as time went on, it started getting more and more, and I hate the word pseudo, but yeah, it started getting more and more pseudo. Cause I, I was, a uh, on my, my path, for, uh, on my journey, and for lack of a better word, I'm not gonna use the word cushionist, but on my path, uh, Bobby was one of my first eye openers. Dr. Phil, Bobby, John Henry Clark, the Honorable John Henry Clark, my ancestor, uh, uh, Dr. French Chris was definitely a shay, and, uh, salute to Reek Nasheed, definitely, and, uh, Dr. Nova Drew, the Honorable Dr. Nova Drew Ali, you know, the Moors, uh, Red Pill, Blue Pill, Definitely uh, one of my first, because I came in through health, um, mine was a little bit different than a lot of people. I know a lot of people zeitgeist, which I seen zeitgeist, but my first eye opener was through health and the documentary was Knives Over Forks. So that was my first uh, awakening. Because when I first seen that, I cut all the meat side. I really just stopped eating. I was like, I'm just going to, niggas just going to eat almonds and drink water and they going to be good. But, uh, you know. Hey, but here I am today. Uh, 30 more pounds lighter. Survived double pneumonia. And I'm here, yo. Salute, brother uh, Panic. Brother Polite. Dr. Moore Justin, definitely. But salute. But uh, yeah, the young Pharaoh, man. If, uh, I know Cy cut up some of his videos. But uh, yeah, that, that, the disrespecting of the elder or the, 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 the guy, uh, Malcolm X, man. Malik L. Hyde Sebastian, like Pharaoh, that's man, you don't do that, bro. Like, man, that, that that was that was over the line, man. But to each his own salute. Love y'all one. Peace.